Hey there, everybody. I want to start off by saying welcome to all the new viewers and thanks for hitting that subscribe button on my channel. Anyways, today we're going to check out IK Multimedia's newest plugin, the Lursen Mastering Console. It's their newest collaboration with Lursen Mastering in Los Angeles. If you don't know much about Lursen Mastering, they've been around for 23 years, I think, and they have done a slew of amazing albums and soundtracks. I'm going to give you a couple of my favorite because the list was just, it's insanely long. Just go onto their website, LursenMastering.com is I believe what it is. Uh, some of my favorites that they've done is Metallica, Foo Fighters, Dweezil Zappa, Mr. Big, Joe Bonamassa, Elton John, Queens of the Stone Age, Eric Clapton, Lenny Kravitz, Spinal Tap, B.B. King, Leonard Skinner, Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, Johnny Cash, Rob Zombie, Alice Cooper. My favorite soundtracks I've seen that they've done is Game of Thrones, Despicable Me, Halloween 2, Devil's Rejects, 127 Hours, and Walk the Line. There is so many more than I even listed right there. They have an amazing, huge amount of work that they've been doing. Definitely go check them out. Let's go check out the plugin. All right, so here it is. This is what the Lursen Mastering Console plugin looks like, and I gotta say, it looks absolutely stunning. If you open it up, you get this uh, kind of console view, not that you can actually do anything or select anything, but it looks pretty. And then these are your controls right here on the bottom. You have, uh, I think it's like 23 or something like that, different styles you can choose from. I choose pop rock. Each of them have a little bit different chain uh, from their console. So as you can see, the input or the uh, the controls are pretty simple. You get an input drive, you get a push, which basically just pushes up your EQ. You can also monitor in stereo or mono. You can get a bypass switch in there. And uh, yeah, this is, you can meter your you know input or your process afterwards. If you hit this little guy right here, you get the chain. So you can see it's using a tube equalizer, a solid state equalizer. The second tube limiter they have uh, emulated in here, a solid state de and a solid state compressor. So uh, the only other controls you get besides these one, two, what, seven controls right here that you get on the face. You also get a threshold selector for the de a threshold and a makeup gain for the compressor. Uh, so I'll leave you at this view right here. We're going to throw this on the side. I'm going to play a few bars for you and uh, I'm going to flick off and flick back on this bypass switch so you can hear what exactly the Lursen Mastering Console is doing. Here we go. As you can see, it does quite a bit. We get our volume, we get everything you kind of want in a, in a mastering situation, all with this one plugin. You can see everything's not working too hard. You know, they're just not boosting for volume. They're not trying to compete in any loudness wars, that's for sure. Although they do have a great rap sheet of things that are pretty loud. Uh, that's not to say it takes away from how it sounds, though. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what uh, my original master sounded like. And that's going to go right into the Lursen. So you can see this bottom part is going to be uh, my original and then to the Lursen right here. And hear how that sounds. Yeah, it sounds great. You know, it almost nailed what I had uh, had in the beginning. The only thing I really would have to note is that I had to bring down my original master negative uh, three dB because I had a limiter at the end shaving off the peaks of the uh, the snare and the kick. So that let me get it a little louder, and it still didn't change the the overall sound. Uh, but again, if you're not going for the total loudest thing, you don't need that. But any DAW is going to come with a pretty good limiter in it. One other thing I want to mention, if you get the iPad version, you can do all the automation right here inside of the plugin. You get another view that you don't have in the DAW version. You get to see your waveforms. Um, and let's see if I can go to it. You can show, you can see the waveforms and then you can actually, uh, you can set up your input drive or your push 
Uh, and I think a couple other things, and you can actually automate them, you know, depending on the sections of the song or whatever you want to do. And it's pretty cool. It works really well. Uh, you can also do it in the desktop version, not when you're in an actual session like this. Um, and you can, you know, see right here in the session, you automate via these, these controls right here, and I would put it right there in the project. So if you want to see what I had in my original master, I had quite some expensive stuff going on. So I first was going into the FabFilter Pro Q2, and that goes for $179. That goes into the SSL from Waves, the e-channel, and you can only get that in certain bundles. The cheapest bundle is the SSL bundle. That's $749. And I have just the Logic Gain uh, utility, and that's not doing anything. I just use that to change the input into my compressor, so I'm not adjusting the settings in the compressor ever. That brings me to the next plugin, though. And that's the T-Rax bus compressor, which is also an SSL emulation. And that goes for 115 USD. Uh, it's really awesome. It comes with this high pass uh, filter. It's not that it's actually high passing anything. It's just going to high pass what the bus compressor is reading. So you can kind of not let it just work off the, the kick drum, which, which is awesome because I don't want that actually going down. Uh, I think the Slate SSL version does the same thing. From that, we go into the Waves Kramer tape, which I use on every single uh, project. Um, it, maybe not on the master, but definitely on tracks. It's just an amazing plugin. That goes for 249 USD. And that's going into my final bit, the Pro L, as you can see right here. And the FabFilter Pro L goes for 199 USD. And uh, again, like I said, the only thing that got my master a little louder was that this, uh, this was shaving off about two or three dB, nothing more than that. And it's just those uh, stray kick and snare hits, uh, which was, you know, it does it in a nice way. As it says right here in this style, it's transparent. Anyways, all these plugins go for 1500 USD. And this Lursen mastering console right here goes for 225 USD. And you can actually get a 10 day free trial, whether you download it on the computer or the iPad. So definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Check it out guys. So as you can see, you can really get studio quality results with little to no effort with this Lursen Mastering Console plugin. IK Multimedia really did their console justice emulating all the little nuances it has. Anyways, you get a free 10 day trial if you wanna get it for the computer or the iPad. Either one I would recommend. Till next time guys. Keep it brutal.